Hey guys, JJ Stewart here. Beautiful sunny, sunny, <laughs> beautiful August night. It's warm out, crickets are singing, and uh, I'm thinking, holy crap, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I should do a video today. And one of the things I wanted to talk about was uh, an often asked question about how to make a book cover for your ebook. <clears throat> now, I already did a video on this, but um, I thought I'd do a quick refresher. I just finished uh, a manuscript and it's ready to upload, so I thought I would show you the process of choosing a cover, cover model, buying my picture, uh, and prepping it and getting it ready to uh, upload on the Amazon. So, I am going to finish my drink right here and I'll meet you inside in a moment. Hey guys, how are you doing? Okay, we're in the office now and just want to talk a little bit about why you should want to make a cover. Uh, I mean, why not just pay someone to have a professional cover made? I mean, lots of people do that. I think the main reason is, as an erotica author, you need to be putting out new material once or twice a week. You know, like all the time. And if you're paying someone 50, 60 bucks each time you want to uh, upload a cover, that's time consuming. And that's taking time away from the actual art of writing and making money, which is what we want to do in this business. So it's imperative that as a writer, you're familiar with the techniques of how to create an effective quick cover. Um, it's easy. It's simple. Um, the first couple times you try it, it might be overwhelming and scary, but don't worry, it, it will come along and I'll give you all the tips again, because I've done this video before, but this is going to be another quick one, just reiterating, kind of refreshing your memory of the techniques that I use. Um, like I said, uh, out in the garage, uh, I've been writing all summer. I'm still making sales with erotica, but I'm noticing as time goes on that my sales are dropping lower and lower and lower and lower. So it's time to put my projects aside and focus back on building up my catalog, getting some new releases out. Now I've just released two quick uh, novellas in the last couple, I think last week, uh, and I have another one ready to go tonight. Um, she's a nice long one, about, I think, 18,000 words, really great story. It's going to be a three-part series. I already have book two and book three planned out. I uh, really like the story, but I haven't made a cover yet. So I'm going to take you with me. We're going to quickly design a cover and upload it. You can see how I make it, and then you can see the final cover on Amazon when it gets accepted. So without further ado, let's get into... The first step, picture hunting. <gasps> okay, so the first thing we do is you have to find a model or a picture for your cover. I use deposit photos. You can use any kind of site you want. <clears throat> oh God, sound horrible. So the first thing you gotta do is find a picture, a model or someone or something to make your cover out of. Um, if you're writing about uh, your main character is a blonde girl, don't put a brunette on your cover. If you know she's a brunette, don't put a blonde on the cover, etc., etc. Try to find a cover that fits the story you're trying to tell, and you want it to be sexy. You want, if it's a guy, you want you know to show his abs. You want him to be strong. If it's a girl, you want it to be sexy, desirable, and so forth. Because this is basically what your customer is going to see and they're going to be browsing all kinds of books and this might be you might only have like three four or five seconds till for them to to see your cover and be intrigued by what you have and and that short amount of time you have to grab their attention so i use deposit photos i'm not i'm not promoting the site i'm just saying that's what i used last christmas they had a promo uh, for a hundred dollars, you get a hundred downloads for the year, and uh, so I buy that every Christmas. Uh, otherwise, I could be it could be a couple bucks, three or four dollars a picture, depending on what you get. So I have the 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 plan: hundred bucks, hundred photos, works out to a dollar a cover, which is pretty damn cheap. 
So the first thing you do is you search for what you're looking for. It could be beautiful blonde lingerie, could be, you know, um, girl on a bed, could be guy with no shirt on. I searched for um, uh, brunettes because my main character is a brunette with blue eyes. So I typed in brunette blue eyes and came up with a bunch of selections and uh, found this girl. She's the same model in the series. So she's got a whole bunch of different uh, photos that, you know, in her collection. And uh, so I'm looking for something that's going to appeal to the reader. It's going to be something I can have space on it to make a title, to put uh, a little blurb on it, and my name. And uh, you want it to be a vertical type of picture like this one here. I don't know if you can see my little mousey things. You know, you don't want a picture like this because this a picture this wide, you're going to have to crop it and, and start playing with the dimensions. So I just go with the vertical pictures. Um, and because this book I'm doing, uh, this novella is going to be a series, I'm going to look for a, a model that has at least three usable pictures. So um, that way book one, book two, book three has the same model in different poses on all three covers. So I went ahead and did that. I think I ended up purchasing this one with a little cute white outfit. Um, which is the other one I put? I think it was... Oh geez, you think I'd remember. Well, we'll see that when we get to the editing phase, okay? So first thing you gotta do, buy your picture. Once you've bought your picture, you're gonna wanna save it to a folder called, you know, I named mine Kindle stuff. Don't look at the rest of my stuff. This is all private things. I don't play Star Wars and <clears throat> anyway, have a folder in here and in here you have original photo stock this is where you keep your originals in this folder okay so you have everything in here that you've purchased un unchanged exactly the way you bought it why because each picture will have a little digital tag so if Amazon ever comes to you and says prove that you bought this picture prove that you have a license to use this as a cover you can then send them a copy which will have all the details that uh, and where you bought it from Okay, very easy to keep. Um, and then when you've done making a picture, I put it in with the folder with the published work. So I keep all my titles separate in their own folders in published stuff. Um, that way I can quickly see what pictures I've used and whatnot. Okay, so we do that. I've done that. So now we're gonna go to a photo editor. I use Be Funky. I'll put the link below. You don't have to use this, you can use, you could use uh, Adobe Photoshop, you could use uh, uh, paint.net, which is another great program. I use Be Funky because it's got a lot of great features. It only cost me like 10 bucks a year um, and renews, I don't even notice paying for it. It's like super cheap. So you log in, you get your account, you log in, you go to photo editor, select your language, yes. And then I go upload and it says upload from where? I go computer, yay. And then here is where I look through my, I go to my desktop again, to my uh, Kindle stuff folder. Everything that I write and have uh, store, everything I've written, all my pictures are all on Kindle stuff. So open that up and I'm looking for original photo stock. And here's the folder. Okay, I just click on that. And these are all the photos I've bought. I haven't used them all, but some of them I have, okay. And here they are. I'll try to make it a little bit bigger so you can see. There you go. Here's all the pictures I have bought. Some of them I'm planning on using on series coming up. Some of them, uh, not yet. I haven't used them. And here's the photos of the girl we just found. So there's picture one, picture two, and somewhere down here is picture three. Please tell me it worked. There should be three. There's either three or I'm blind. Hang on. La, 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 la. Oh, there she is. A cute little fit. So I have my three pictures because I know ahead of time this is going to be a three book series. So I want to have three covers. Like here's another cover for a different series I'm, I'm going to be writing. Same model, three different poses. You know, and those are crucial to have. 
and hard to find. You know, some pictures like, like this one here, it's just going to be a one-off because there's the rest of her photos weren't that good. So I only got the one, you know. So you might recognize some of these stock photos that on some of my covers. Like here's the one I used for first Tara's First Time Tide. Um, you'll notice her from some of my Wife the Kinky Escort series. She's a beautiful girl and uh, really good series. Really like that one. Anyway, so I need to decide of the three which one is going to be my first cover. Okay, and this is where you have to decide for yourself. You, you know, I can't tell you and right now you can't tell me because I obviously can't hear you. So the first book in the series, I, I want to... I think this one is to be of her dressed up. It's kind of be later on when she's more into what's happening in the story. So I want the, either this one or this one for the first picture. This one looks like she's more, you know, dressed up and ready. This one looks a little more innocent. So I'm going to use this one. Okay, and here we go. We got it. Now, the first thing I do is uh, resize it because this thing is just too big. It's 2666 by 4000, which is a little bit too big to upload to Kindle. So I always go um, the three, four methods. So I go 1600, and then I change this one to, tw and that's when it becomes 24. So that's uh, eight and eight is 16, and then another eight is, yeah, two to three, sorry, I meant two to three. So two wide to three high. So you'll get that book-like shape. And then I hit, okay, and there's resized. So here is my resized cover of the girl and my heroine has dark hair and blue eyes so this is perfect for a cover and with this photo editor I I'm not going to do too much to it I usually beautify it off the bat gives it a bit of color there I can make it really strong or not so strong you know like a super tan or not so I give her a little bit of a tan there we go I can uh, change colors here if I want to make it a little cooler or a little bit warmer so I'll go with a little bit cooler because her eyes are cool like that I can saturate the colors or bleed, bleed them there's a lot of things you can do and it's a free online program you just do it right here on the on the little uh, browser they have okay so I've hit beautify I usually go for smoothing just to make it a little bit of a softer look it's just a personal preference you don't have to do that and then I also like to use vinaigrette I call it vinaigrette but it just darkens the corners a bit draws the focus to the face and like I said when you got a customer looking at your videos or not your videos your uh, book covers scrolling through Amazon for the topic that he or she likes you only have a moment to catch their interest you know so you want your cover to be sharp and crisp and, and tell them right away what it's about. So this one I think will work. Sometimes people use lingerie or sexy pictures like that, but I think this one gives you that feeling of youth, which is what my main character is. is. She's a college student, you know, and it's I think it's just perfect. <coughs> and there's different effects you can use. So I might... Uh, I might tinker around with it, like do I want to put like a sun thingy on here, you know, nah, I don't, I don't think so, not in this one, some of them times it works, um, sometimes they have feature here, I don't like any of those, won't use it, chromatic sometimes is nice, yeah, I think I'll, I'll skip that, uh, go down to artsy frames, Overlay, not overlay, so what is it? Textures. Sometimes I use bokeh because it gives you that, you know, I don't know. It gives it a nice effect. It just puts little dots on it, but it just, you know, it makes it look like the picture is more realistic or something. Or you can go with a colder feel and, you know, whatever your preference is. But I'm going to stick with this because I think I just want to draw attention to her face and I want to be putting a title up here, a little bit of a semi-title down here, and then the name. So 
I'm going to go to text and this be funky has a whole ton of text. So I will create a text. Once you've typed your text, you can change the size, you can change the color. And this is all a matter of personal preferences, you know, whatever you like. I like a big bold title that stands out. But because my first word is so big, I'm going to have to go with big letters but clarity. This one's kind of wild let's see how that looks oops so I can drag and make it bigger and then I can position it I can tilt it yeah I don't know if I like Edo I'm gonna go with what is chunky no comic sans no I want to bold title that stands out, easy to read, they instantly know what it's about. You know what? I don't know if I like, I don't know if I like having such a big name. Hang on a second here. Maybe I can use a different title. I could always change the title of my, of my manuscript. It doesn't have to be called this. Um, okay, let me pause the video here and then think of a different name and then I'll come right back and we'll work with that name. Just one second. Well, this is a topic that uh, every man is wrestling with, every man is battling with from the time that you uh, are aware of what a woman is until the time you go home to glory. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just double checked and... Uh, I don't think the word blackmailing is going to fit the cover. I didn't think of that when I wrote the story. I was just putting a, a throwing a title on it. But uh, I double checked and I think it might be one of the flag words that if you use it on your cover, your publication could get um, adult tagged and thrown into the dungeon on Amazon, meaning it will never be found by anybody unless they specifically type in the name. It will be invisible to all searches. So it's basically a death knell to any novella or short story you publish. So you want to stay away from words like blackmail. So I've uh, quickly thought up a new title um, that kind of still encapsulates what the story is about. Um, this is set in a seminary or Bible college. Um, this is going to be a story about um, um, dominance and submission, a bondage story with a girl who is blackmailed basically into going out on a date with the school nerd. Um, he finds some compromising photos of her and basically uses it to blackmail his way into a relationship only to discover that she's got a dark kinky side to her and is very wild and difficult to control. So I need a name or title that incorporates that. Now you're going to have obviously a different story so you'll have a different set of issues to deal with but these are the things that I'm thinking about as I'm developing my cover. Um, of course, this is taking longer because I have to video it and record it and make sure I don't talk like a demented monkey uh, and that you understand the points I'm trying to make. So um, let's go ahead and add text. Um, the one I had was uh, breaking. Okay, so I just type it in like this and then I can click on it um, and then adjust the size as I want. And I'm going to pick capture it because 
it's very like I like words that look like they sound so this is looks like it's breaking apart it's very strong that's the type of thing I want so I'm gonna center it <coughs> excuse me then I'm gonna move it up into place and here I can start fiddling with the size I want to make sure I don't go off the screen here like you see I want to make sure it stays in but I also want it to be as big as possible and definitely contrasting with the background so I'm not going to make the, the, the lettering here like, uh, for example, I'm not going to make it, you know, a color that kind of blends in or something like that. Like I'm not going to make it black or something you can barely read, you know. So I'm going to pick a color that I think contrasts well and works with the theme. And the theme of this one, let's see if I can get it nice and pink. Where the heck was pink? That's purpley. I guess that's kind of pink. There we go. Nice and bright, good contrast. So because this is a story about a young girl in college, I want to go with pink, because that's like innocence, that's, you know, little girls wear pink. It's a subliminal thing that um, I, I've used it a couple times and no one seems to notice, but I think it works well. Um, so Breaking, that's the first title, and then I'm going to add another text. And it's going to be the word the, nice and easy. And I'm going to resize it. So I just slide the sliders, readjust it. And I'm not going to use capture it. I'm going to use, um, there's a nice one here at the bottom. I like yellow tail for the. Okay, so I have the word the. And I can go back and resize these after. I'm not committed to having it like this. Okay, I'm going to add one more word. <coughs> and because I don't want to type out Bible college or seminary, I'm going to go church. That gets the idea across of what she's about. She's a religious girl, you know, the whole idea of purity and, you know, all those things that make for good erotica. So I'm center it. And it helps if I can spell. There we go. There, church. I don't like the look of that one. So... let's look at okay this one might work i can make it big um it doesn't feel right let me look at a couple i want to get something that feels better hang on and this is all subjective i mean you might you might nail it the first shot and go oh this is awesome Sometimes you just look at it and you're looking for balance. You're looking for clear, crisp meaning. You don't want to confuse people. You don't want to jitter it up. What's a nice one I can... It's Norwester. Hmm. That's not bad. It's kind of what I'm looking for. No, that's, a, that's squished a little bit too much. Um, let me just do this. Yeah, I like this. So I can resize it now and reposition it. I want it to take up almost as much room as the top, but not quite. Just for balance. So I'm going to just set my little lines here on the edge. And I have it centered here, so I know that it's perfectly centered on either side. And the last word is girl g-i-r-l again because it's an easy to use word it's not big i didn't want to say a church college student that would just be confusing you know a church girl nice and innocent totally what you want to have when you're doing erotica so what letter what one should i use for that um Oh, I wonder how it would look in the same as the top one, yellow tin. Oh, I could use that. There we go. So I have breaking, which is, you know, falling apart, very strong, and then the church, and then girl. And these two, the and girl, are the same font. So this will probably look nicely balanced. I can make it even a little bit bigger. Slide it over. And now I'm just looking at this thinking, there is way too much 
pink right now. So I'm going to fiddle with this, change the color a little bit, which is easy peasy. Let's see if this works. There. Oh, I obviously got to put my name on it. Never forget that. JJ and Stuart. Best author in the world, just my opinion. Okay, I want to center that and bring it down here. It's a little bit tiny, so I'm just going to make it grow a bit, but I don't want my name to overshadow the title, but I want it to be readable. So I can do it like this, just draw out the edges so I know I'm centered. And there, I can even move it down a little bit like that. Perfect. Breaking the church girl. Oh, by the way, if you're religious, please don't hate me. This is just a fantasy story. Um, nothing personal. Um, but, oh, see, now I notice that some of my letters are disrupting her face. A little bit of her hair is fine, because you can't really help that. A lot of the photos don't have space up here. But when I bought this photo, I, I was looking for places where I could put things like this. And I see that church is blocking her face a little bit. So I'm going to utilize some of the space down here just to make her face a bit more clear. And I can even tilt this if I want, just to make it just more visually different. And I think I can bring that up to the front. Hang on. Uh, no, that's not it. Where is it? I've seen it before. I've used it. Was it options? Oh yeah, here it is. Move forwards. There. There, now it's in front of the word. Instead of hiding, so the. Breaking the Church Girl. Okay, and I don't really want to put much more on. Sometimes I'll put a little blurb in the side, but this is taking up a lot of space already. But I have good balance. I got, you know, the pink, the pink, the pink, and then the two whites balancing out. I've got her face shown. I've darkened the edges a little bit, you know. Um, and that, that's basically what the story is about. So, okay, and then uh, everything is done. I flatten the layers and we're good to go. Find my Kindle stuff um, and then I'm going to put it under miscellaneous rough story starts, um, which I guess I can't really show you because this is not my published stuff. So I'm going to blur it out and find where the heck I put the story. It's right here. So I'm going to have to rename it. I guess you can't really see this, but I can't call it blackmailing anymore. So I'm going to breaking the church girl number one. Okay. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to create a folder to put that in. Actually, it won't matter because uh, I'll, I'll be able to find it. I'll be able to find it. Now this is important to do, um, especially when you start um, getting more and more um, stories in your inventory, not inventory, but uh, your catalogs. You know, it, it can be very confusing trying to find rough drafts, uh, final drafts, you know, good copies, um, stories that are half done. You know, you want to keep your titles the same. You want to keep your your book covers the same. Um, so you can just find things easier because it's there's nothing worse than trying to upload to Amazon. You've uploaded a story about Earl the Trucker and you've put a cover of a cute blonde on it. Sorry. I don't know any stories about Earl the Trucker. I shouldn't have said that. Um, you know, you don't want a story about one thing with a cover with something else or upload the wrong files and stuff. And it just makes it look unprofessional. So you got to do some bookkeeping. and That's what I do. So now this is done. I'm going to open up my paint.net program. I really like this program. Um, and you want to do this before you close this window because sometimes there's a glitch and it doesn't save or you know something happens so always leave this open until you verify that your changes have been made so the last thing you want to do is have to start over so i open up paint.net you can use any you know paint program you have i'm going to open uh, i'm going to look under kindle stuff again 
miscellaneous rough story starts and it should be right here breaking the church girl click that and there it is <coughs> now this is where I can double check and I go to image and I make sure I resize it. I make sure the resolution is 300 because for some reason um, even though I bought this at a 300 after you do the cover program sometimes it'll change the resolution after you've resized it so it went from 300 to 96 so I'm going back to make sure it's 300 why because on the Kindle devices and whatnot you want a nice crisp image so I'm gonna save it to the highest quality and okay you can't see anything with your eyes but um, the reason why we do this is because at 300 dpi you get a nice crisp picture on your Kindle even the oldest ones and the same reason why I go for the size let me just go back to this of 16 by 24 you can go larger but people who have older Kindles like the one I use um, a larger size picture than this you'll be missing some of the of the words on the cover I know it's not a big thing but that bothers me so when I go 16 by 24 I know at 300 dpi I know that I'm going to have the, the most um, usable cover on every device there is of course the newer Kindles you know have bigger screens and there's people who use tablets and whatnot no problem there but I'm trying to get the ones that are the old ones you know like the dude in the truck stop who you know wants to read these stories you know in his bunk and doesn't have the latest greatest gadget he's gonna have an old one of these and he's gonna be one of my customers you know so I want to make sure that this title fits nice he can see it all handy dandy so 16 by 24 300 dpi and that's why I open it up because I want to make sure I can see it it's been resized in this program here but when I resize it it sometimes changes it to less dpi so I don't know so there we're done I can close this now okay I've done my blurb and now I'm ready to upload the the novella and with my blurb and the new cover that we just made and you saw me make so upload so I'll go to my desktop I will go to my Kindle stuff miscellaneous where is it rough story starts there it is breaking the church girl boom and see how quickly I found that just boom once it's published I'll move it over to my published section and uh, but for now I'll leave it where it is now I've labeled it breaking the church rule number one because it's going to be the first in three series so I won't accidentally upload it again when I do my second book and I don't use cover creator I use upload one I already have so let's find that one and here it is breaking the church girl right there boom there's a the cover we made today and you can see it didn't take long I just had to uh, I just had to change the title and there's nothing wrong with changing your title you know if it doesn't fit or if it looks bad there's no problem changing it because as you can see I went into the word document and changed that changed the the name of it boom no one but you and me knows and there is my cover and so what it's doing right now is it's processing your file uploading successfully so right now when it uploads your file it's looking for spelling errors or mistakes like that and it takes a while but once that's complete we can launch your previewer and take a look at what it looks like and go to the next step save and continue see how easy that was no biggie I mean this happens sometimes you're like oops I forgot to add a page break or you know something silly like that I always enroll new books in KDB select because it gives you added exposure which means more sales so all territories uh, prices I always go 70% at 299 that's my standard and I get two dollars and seven cents for every book that sells and that's fine I mean that's good okay and it's in all marketplaces right yeah all territories and click match book select so when I do um, a paperback version of someone buys it they get the digital for free 
that's just a nice thing I do to people. Lending, you can't uncheck that. That's locked. There's a reason for it, but we won't get into it. And then publish. So let's go publish. Da -da -la. So yeah, I decided after working on everything else, um, my my um, fantasy novel, my romance, my science fiction, that uh, I've been neglecting making videos and I've been neglecting um, putting out more erotica. So I'm still making steady sales, but nothing like it used to be. So, you know, every so often you got to, you know, get more stuff out there and, and get your names looked at you know you want people to read your stuff like it and and then look at your other stuff and then you know make follow-through purchases that's the trick and but to do that you got to make you know you got your writing and you got to be making your covers because it takes too long it's too time consuming to get a professional to make you every single cover you know now if this is a huge novel that you spent years on then yes get a professional done you know don't don't do what i'm doing this is just quick you know, to make it to the point, make it good, eye-catching, and then boom, move on to the next one. And will this one sell? I don't know. I like each and every story I write. It's, you know, I spend a lot of time creating it and thinking of it and uh, trying to make it as exciting as I can. A lot of editing, but I'm only one person. And, uh, you know, I'm my own publisher and editor at the same time. So I guess you can add marketer to that too, so... Making your own covers is just an easy thing to do. So let's do that. It'll be in review now for, you know, it could be published tomorrow morning. Maybe by the time you see this video, it's up. You can take a look at it. And if you want, you can, you can read it, tell me what you think. But uh, for now, that's the video. I hope you learned something. I hope uh, it helps you, you know, get over any fears or anxieties you have. You know, this is really easy. This is the easiest, most funnest part of it. You know, okay, wait, writing stories is the funnest part. You know, editing, not so much fun. You know, sometimes it's a drag. When, you're, when you write something and it sounded really good the night before and the next day you're like, what the hell was I thinking? That's terrible. You spend all this time re-editing it, but that's, you know, maybe you're better at this than I am, but, you know, and then making covers is easy. Like it takes no time at all. Like look at all my covers, all my covers. I made all of these. They're all nice. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed. Have yourself a great night or day or wherever you're at. And uh, look forward to uh, hearing from you. If you have questions or comments or uh, anything like that. Yeah, buy my books. <laughs> have a great day, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>